hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel so if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe it and hit the like button on the videos so our today's topic is how to calculate the amount of steel so as you can see here we have this plan layout for footing where the steel detail is given at the rebar a 16 mm dia at a spacing of 200 mm and here is the elevation so it is 3 meter long and 2 meter wide and the height is 1.2 meter so so the dia let's calculate dia of steel is it's given here 16 mm and the spacing is 200 mm on both sides here also and against the so the spacing is 200 and the clear cover which is the covering of concrete as you know in footing it is 50 mm 50 mm on all the sides except for the bottom for bottom it is 75 mm for bottom it is 75 mm okay let me take another page so our uh, steel is gonna be like this the length is 3 meter so if we are gonna give a spacing of 50 mm on both the sides so the length of this steel is gonna be 2.8 meters sorry 2.9 2.9 meter 50 mm 50 mm so we deduct 100 mm on both the sides and as you saw in the elevation the height is 1.2 meter so for the bottom the covering is 75 mm and for the top it is 50 mm so 1.2 meter minus 50 mm plus 70 mm which is the height of this bar will be 1.2 minus 50 mm 0 0.05 minus for the bottom 75.075 which is gonna be 1.075 meter so this is 2.9 this is 1.075 and this height you can take it as uh, 200 mm or 250 mm so we are gonna take it as 250 so 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 meter this one and this one okay it is along the wait a second so this steel is gonna be along this uh, along the width 2 meter so the number of steel bars this steel is so the spacing is 200 mm so we are gonna divide 2 meter by 200 mm let me divide it so uh, width is 2 meter which will be 2000 mm and the spacing is 200 so it's gonna be 10 10 numbers of this bar now we are done with the long ones. Now we'll see the short ones. This is our first. Now our second rebar. Our second rebar is this is 250 mm, 250 mm, and this side was 2 meter. So 50 mm, 50 mm covering on both the sides. So it's gonna be 1.9 meter. And for the height. So after uh, the deduction of covering, it's 1.9 meter length and height will be the same, 1.075 meter. So now calculate the number of steel. So the length is 3000, spacing is the same. 
200 so it's gonna be 0, 0, 15 15 numbers so now let's calculate the length of each bar so it's 2.9 plus 1.2 sorry 1.075 1.075 on both sides and plus 0 0.25 0 0.25 on this side so length of steel bar for this first three bar for number one is gonna be 2.9 plus this is 2.9 plus 1.075 for this side and 1.075 for this side plus 1.075 plus 0 0.25 that is 0 0.5 for that side let's calculate calculate this one 2.9 plus 1.075 plus 1.075 plus 1.5 which is 5.55 meter and the number of steel is 10 10 and so the total length would be total length of steel would be length of one steel bar multiplied by the number of bars so 5.55 multiplied by 10 which is gonna be 55.5 meter now let's calculate the total length for the second bar let me take another paper okay. length of steel bar for second rebar number 2 which is the length was 1.9 meter plus height was same 1.075 plus 1.075 for both the sides plus 0.5.25.25 which is gonna be 1.9 plus 1.075 plus 1.075 plus 0 0.5 4.55 meter this is the length of one bar and we calculated the number of bars which was 15 so total length of bars equals to length of one bar multiplied by the number of bars which is gonna be this multiplied by 15 68.25 meter hence the total length of steel required would be 55.5 plus 68 point two five is fifty five point five which is one twenty three point seven five meter this is for the main bar now let's uh, calculate the length of distribution bars which is gonna be along the height like this this is the elevation so there would be some distribution bars here Let's consider the, the dia of distribution bar as 12 mm. Distribution bar along the elevation. Okay, so let's consider the dia is 12 mm and spacing is mm, the same 200 mm okay so the sorry the length of bar would be Okay, so the shape is gonna be like this 
for the distribution bar. So along the length, sorry, it would be 2.9 meter, and this uh, development length would be 0.2 meter and 0.2 meter. So which is gonna be 2.9 plus 0.2 plus 0.2. 9 plus 0.4 3 3.3 3 meter for one bar and the number of bars would be number of bars would be the height is 1.2 so 1.2 we did reduce the concrete cover which was of 1.075 divided by the spacing spacing is 200 oh sorry I, let me write it in mm 1075 divided by 200 which is gonna be 1075 divided by 200 it's 5.3 so it's almost 5 5 and numbers, 5 numbers. So, the, so that is the, we have calculated the length of one bar and the number of bars. So the total length of the bar, would be length of one bar multiplied the number of bars. So the length of one bar was 3.3 .3 plus Sorry, multiply by number of bars, which was 5. 16.5 meter. So it is for one side. Uh, so if, let me draw the side. This is the layout. So for this side, it is when you will tie it along the elevation. For this side, 16.5. So for the other side, it's going to be 16.5. So multiply it by. Two, for two sides which is 33 meter now we will calculate for this side and this side so along this side and this side it would be the shape would be like this and the length of the bar would be 1.9 meter because this is 2 meter wide this is 3 meter and 50 mm cover on both the sides so it's, it would be 1.9 0 0.2 0 0.2 so the length of one bar would be 1.9 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 which is gonna be uh, 2.3 meter okay and the number of bars would be the height is one bar, sorry 1075 divided by the spacing which is gonna be same as 5 5 and nice. so total length of bar along the width would be length of one bar which is 2.3 multiplied by the number of bars which is 5 10.5 meter for one side so on both the sides multiplied by 2 which is gonna be 23 meters okay so for these two sides this is 33 meter for these two sides this is 23 meter so the total length would be total length of distribution bar yes 23 plus 33 56 meter of 12 mm dia okay now we have calculated the length of steel now we will calculate the the, the weight okay so let me write on this page for main bars for main bars of the for bar of dia 16 mm we calculated the total length was was 1 
3.75 meter and for bar of 12 mm total length calculate just calculated is 56 meters okay now we need to calculate their weight so for unit weight for 16 mm dia d bar is how do we calculate the unit weight i already made a video on this you can watch so there is a simple formula d square upon 162.28 how do we derive this formula? I have already made a video on this. You can go and watch that video. So the dia is 16, 16 square upon 162.28. Let's calculate this one. So after the calculation, it would be 1.58 kg per meter. So and we calculated the total length is 123.75. So the weight of this steel would be. 416 mm would be the length of the total bars total length multiplied by the unit weight 1.58 23.75 multiplied by 1.58 which is 195.525 kg and unit weight For 12 mm dia so we can apply the same formula 12 square divided by 162.28 which is gonna be 12 multiplied by 12 144 divided by 162.28 which is 0 0.88 0 0.88 kg <laughs> per meter Total length for 12 mm, di 12 mm dia bar is 56 meter. We calculated the unit weight, unit weight which is 0 0.8 kg, 8 kg per meter. So the total weight would be. 12 mm dia bar would be the length of the bar multiplied by the unit weight which is gonna be 56 multiplied by 0.88 it's 49.28 kg hence the total weight of steel is 49.28 plus 195.52 plus 195.52 which is 244.8 Kg. so this is our final answer so thank you for watching this video till the very end and to learn about more civil engineering things please subscribe our channel and happy learning thank you